John Smith joins us now with the weather. It's Father's Day weekend. Yes, it's not looking too bad, especially if you're in the central and western part of the state. But Good. we are dealing with a few showers out there. And this is one place that has seen shower activity throughout the afternoon. We'll go ahead and put this into motion. And you can see a few showers, especially earlier on in this three hour loop. But as we put it, continue into motion here and get closer to right now, you can see things are starting to dry out. And we did have flash flood warnings in effect for the Ruidoso area earlier this afternoon. But those have now expired and the rain starting to taper off in the Sacramento Mountains. Let's go ahead and take a look at the current radar. You can see quite a bit of shower activity, especially in the eastern and southern portions of the state. We'll start off in the southeast where we saw quite a bit of rainfall over the Sacramento Mountains earlier. It's now starting to taper off that rainfall, but we're continuing to see some shower activity and even a couple of stronger storms as you move toward Lee and Roosevelt counties. Portal is seeing a fairly decent storm right now. That is slowly drifting to the north over the northeastern part of the state. We're also seeing a fairly impressive line of storms that is now past I-20 and continuing to march eastward toward Union County and just now exiting the Roy area. So we do have that activity going here and even a few spot showers in the Gila Wilderness too. TRC seeing a little bit of rainfall in areas just to the north of there. We're also getting a couple of spot storms in and around Lordsburg and just to the south and east of Silver City. And we'll continue to watch this activity throughout the evening hours before things eventually taper off toward the overnight. Taking a look at the metro right now, we're dry here, but we are warm. 89 degrees is the current temperature or south wind at 9 miles per hour. We're looking at temperatures in the 80s over the northern mountains, 84 for Taos, 86 in Santa Fe, 79 in Los Alamos. You can see what rain-cooled air will do for a couple of locations, 59 only in Las Vegas after seeing some showers there, 59 also for Ruidoso where they have also seen some of that shower activity. But you move out toward the southeast plains and we are at the 90-degree mark for Roswell and Hobbs into the 80s in the southwest, although dimming right now at 94 degrees. We are looking at quite a bit of shower activity this afternoon. We'll continue with that chance of showers for tomorrow afternoon as well, but we won't quite see as many showers and storms through the eastern part of the state or in the south for tomorrow afternoon as well. So tonight, we'll see that shower activity diminish overnight. We will be on the mild side once again with partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, we'll watch for that shower activity in the eastern and southern portion of the state, but not quite as many as what we saw today as drier air continues to work in. And as that happens, we're looking for mostly sunny skies to start the work week, and it will be hot. We're looking for some of the warmest temperatures that we have seen so far this year, and you'll see that in your zone by zone forecast. But first, soup for storm track breaking down the uh, precip chances. We are looking to, for things to taper off overnight. Not really showing much in the way of shower activity. I think we'll see a little bit more than what Superstorm Track is showing here for tomorrow afternoon, and then we do completely dry out for Monday. Taking a look at your zone by zone forecast now, southern Colorado seeing temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, 91 for Cortez, with mostly sunny skies tomorrow, and we'll continue to see, to see the sunshine through at least the next seven days with temperatures in the low to mid 80s. Over the northwest, mostly sunny and hot, especially in Farmington, where highs will be in the low 90s. We'll stay in the low to mid 90s throughout the next seven days with sunshine continuing in the Farmington area. Over the southwest, a mix of sun and clouds, a spot storm possible throughout the afternoon. Temperatures in the 90s, a little bit cooler for Silver City, mid-80s there, but eventually they make it into the low 90s for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with more sunshine. Over the southeast, partly cloudy, a few more storms for tomorrow afternoon, and it will be quite a bit warmer into the upper 90s, and we continue to warm up with more sunshine early next week. 105 for Monday, 100 for Tuesday, then back into the 90s to end the work week. Over the northeast, mostly our mix of sun and clouds, scattered afternoon showers and storms, temperatures temperatures in the low to mid 90s, even upper 90s as you move toward the I-40 corridor. We'll be near 90 degrees in Las Vegas for Monday as we see more sunshine and then another chance of showers and storms Thursday into Friday. Northern mountains, partly cloudy skies, a few storms around, temperatures in the 70s and 80s and then more sunshine to start the work week. East mountains, mix of sun and clouds, spot storm possible. Temperatures in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees. We'll make it to the mid 90s in the metro with partly cloudy skies. Could see a spot storm for tomorrow. But just like today, we are not the favored area to see that shower activity and then we dry out completely and heat up to begin next week. Okay, thank you, John.